tremendous job tonight, and they deserve uh, uh, for me not to answer one question. Uh, but first, give them credit for, for uh, uh, out coaching us, out playing us, and uh, just did a tremendous job. And uh, I want to give them and their team uh, uh, you know, credit for that. So, I'm going to start off with that. questions. Uh, Taylor and uh, Demarius said that. They didn't feel like they matched Oregon State's energy early. Did you sense that before the game uh, we, were, we weren't prepared to play. Uh, it was about, about, about to come out and give up a 78 yard touchdown, a 62 yard touchdown, and uh, on plays that uh, practice all week long. And uh, um, you, know, you got to give them credit. They came out with the energy and the enthusiasm. That's just going to show you, you got to get them prepared. And that's our job to get them prepared. We did a poor job. I did a poor job preparing them to play. So, very frustrating for us because. Uh, Obviously, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, we come a long way. Very proud, just as proud of our guys right now as I was last week. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, like I say all the time, it's very fragile. Uh, you know, it's very difficult in college football to, to bring it every week. And uh, yeah, I felt felt like we, you know, recovered from that at halftime. Uh, but uh, just big play, up and, and then more penalties. I think we've ever gotten in a football game. I mean, two pass interference penalties on the artist. Just broke our back. I mean, third and ten, you're off the field. Um, you know, we just uh, and you know, I, I can't explain that other than we just didn't really play very well. You you practiced in shells this week or shorts? Were guys not? Did they not have an edge early on as a result of that? Or I mean, I mean we practice in without pads because we come off one of the most physical games, and we can you know you, you can't you got to be smart about where you're at this time of year. I don't think that had anything to do with us. You know, they, they came out, they lost the last four games straight, and uh, obviously our guys didn't, didn't respect them the way we needed to because uh, they came out and, um, you know, they, uh, they did things no one's done to us in five or six weeks, and I think that has everything to do with us not being prepared to play. Uh, and then down the stretch, I mean, you know, we, we got down there, and, you know, uh, we got to score points, you know, we missed opportunities to score, uh, you know. Um, just, just a really disappointing. Night. What was uh, what happened? What was happening with Jalen Strong there? Did he get hurt? He got dinged. I mean, I think he uh, hit his head. I'm not sure what it was. He just he just got dinged there. Uh, um, he was there for a while. I, I went over there to check on, make sure he's all right. He said he was okay. Can you talk about some of the big plays that they had early on, and then and then later on, just what? Uh, we were, we were, the first big play they had, our linebackers were playing pass. That's our job to get them to play, and we're bringing doing this stuff we've done a million times over and over and over again. They're they're running stretch. Uh, we're slanting the direction of the stretch. We ran that down and tackled for a loss for weeks on weeks, and we just we're ready to play. We just did, did, did a really poor job. Of, uh, I thought you know I know I know uh, they did a great job with what they were doing. Uh, you know, every a third down, every time they got in third down, I mean, we, we, we blitz them on the third down. We don't press. We, we retreat and, and turn around the guy instead of pressing it. We hit the guy right in the mouth on the, on the, on the pressure, and we don't play the proper technique. And they throw up a, you know, pass that, you know, I didn't think no way would be caught. But we just did, we just did not, we didn't trust, we didn't trust our, you know, we got on, got on our heels and didn't trust what we were supposed to be doing. And, uh, Obviously, all of it points. I can sit here and talk all day long. We did not get our guys prepared. And we did not play very well. And I don't want to sit up here and be a coach that says, oh, we beat ourselves. No, Coach Riley and them did a great job. They deserve the credit. Uh, when you're sixth in the country, you go into a place, you're going to get everybody's best performance. We got Oregon State's best shot tonight, and we weren't prepared for it. They deserve the credit. How much of an effect did the absence of Jackson Hood have tonight? None. I feel like you guys were up in the second quarter and you were going down there right at the end of the half and really had a chance to not put them away but put some distance. I thought it was huge. Could have went up. Could have went up. Uh, I've been 31 to, to 10. It's been, been a huge difference and uh, then uh, missed the pass there to, that we could have completely converted and then missed field goal. Got nothing out of. What in our night? Anyone else? How do you bounce back after a loss like this? I mean, well, you, you just get up off the ground. Uh, you know, uh, uh, there's a lot more to us than just we're not going to fold him because we got the 
these guys are responding. Uh, uh, this was uh, this was that game that uh, you know we had we had one against UCLA, and uh, we got back up off the deal and just uh, you know beat USC and did the things we've done to get us sixth in the country. So. Uh, there's absolutely no uh, concern on my part. We'll get back up off the ground. That's what these guys do. That's what guys with character do. And I'm proud of these guys. Uh, you know, obviously, we didn't we didn't do a good job preparing them. We just didn't play. I mean, it, it's collectively all our responsibilities. And you get back up, you dust yourself off, you go back at it. We got to go. Uh, heck, we're still playing for. How do you get back up? We're still playing for conference championship. We still got opportunity to win the South. And. Uh, Go win the next two, I believe we'll be there December 5th. That's all we can do. We can't worry about anything else. Is there any update on Jordan Simone? Thanks, everyone.